Hey, what's up everybody? Just want to do what should be a quick video. And I want to do this video on why I do not like modern day silver graded coins. Um, and I did a video on this, I think a little more over a year ago. But I think it was due time to do this video again. Um, this here is a 2009 Silver Panda 30th anniversary and um, as you can see this is a PCGS MS69 now I want to give you some opinions on how I think graded coins or grading coins go for the big dealers when they send their coins out to PCGS or NGC before I get into the obvious part of why I don't like this graded coin. Now, if a big dealer is sending their coins out to either PCGS or NGC, I don't think they are playing in the same ball field as if you or I send our coins into NGC or PCGS. I believe if you send in bulk orders, I believe you get a better grading scale. And I also believe that whenever one of the big online dealers sends their coins in to uh, PCGS or NGC. Now, this is just an opinion. This is not a fact. Um, this is just my thought. I believe they already know what grade they're going to be getting. I mean, if you notice that whenever a hot release comes out, um, most of your online dealers or your bigger online dealers have a huge amount of MS-70s. Um, and I think that before they send those coins in, it's already predetermined um, how many MS or, you know, MS-70s or uh, proof 70s that they're going to get in those allotments. Um, so, the other reason why I don't like modern day graded coins, if you look at this one here, this one is all milk spotted up. So, if I were going to resell this, I would have to put on there, yeah, it's graded at MS69, but it also has a bunch of milk spots. If we flip this over to the reverse side, you can see it has even more milk spots than what's on the um, Dobbers. So my thought is I'm probably at some point going to crack this out of this slab and uh, take it for a dip on the wild side and see if I can get rid of these milk spots. Um, maybe even one of those uh, white erasers. But I believe on like this proof-like... Um, mirrored finish I believe it that would just uh, make like smudge marks on it so I'm not sure that would be the best way to go but I might take it for a dip and some cleaner and just see if I can get the appearance to look a little bit better but that's why I don't like modern day graded silver coins now, gold might be a little bit different as far as the uh, bullion coins go, although I wouldn't really buy those either. But as, as you know, gold does not milk spot, so one of those problems automatically goes away. But still, I think if you're just sending in like one or two coins, um, the odds are not on your side that you're going to get a good grade I think that if you send in a bulk order, you have a better chance of getting better grades. And if you have a lot of money, if you send to uh, PCGS or NGC really often, I think uh, I think those guys already know what grades they're going to be getting before they even send their coins in. But let me know what you guys think. Um, yeah, I kind of, you know, Sal did a video on this. About a week ago, really good video. If you haven't seen that, go check out Sal's video. I think it was 
um, named why modern day coin grading is a scam or I don't know if it's really a scam, but it's definitely, I think, a ripoff. Um, even though I did send in a couple of 1970 Kennedy uh, D uh, Denver Mint Mark uh, coins to get graded. And sometimes, you know, with coins like that, I might take a gamble. But I did send it in through my local coin dealer who sent in a large amount of coins. So your chances of getting, I think, something a little bit better in a big order is probably a little bit better than if you were going to send in one or two. But I definitely don't like the uh, grading these kind of um, bullion coins like this. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts. And um, thanks a lot, everybody, for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button if you don't mind. And talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks a lot, everyone.